Hello, this is Matthew Campagna from theturninggate.net, and we're looking at the Lightroom web module. Today, we're going to be talking about the TTG Mono Slideshow Gallery. One of the things Mono Slideshow allows you to do is have a photo gallery with multiple photo albums. And I get a lot of questions from users about how exactly you're supposed to set one of those up. Uh, it does require a little bit of editing um, of exported galleries. From within Lightroom, you can only produce a single album gallery. But it's really simple to take multiple galleries and merge them into a single gallery with multiple photo albums. So that's what we're going to have a look at today. Um, as you can see, I've got a gallery put together. And there's just a few things that you want to prep um, for at least one of the galleries the main gallery, the one that you're going to use to merge everything else into. Uh, you want to set it up so it looks the way you want it. You want to make sure that your controls here have an album button. So under appearance, control options, make sure show album button is checked. And you can see now we've got an album button. The next thing you want to do is scroll down here a ways and eventually you're going to find the album window section where you can put in a title and a description and new in version 1.34 you can specify a thumbnail image to use in the album and when you do that it's going to show up here now you need to be careful when you're doing this the file name of the thumbnail needs to match exactly the file name of the exported thumbnail and it's important to remember that when Lightroom exports a web gallery it changes the file names of the images so that any spaces, dashes, or other special characters will be replaced with underscores. Uh, the best way to ensure that your file names will be the same is just to eliminate spaces, dashes, and special, special characters altogether, which I've done. So you need to pick an image, and then you'll see the file name here. I want to use this image as my thumbnail, and I can see the file name is this. So I'm going to come up here, type that in. 2007 10 20 yojo 012.jpg because our exported file name uh, will be a JPEG and not a DNG like it shows down there. Hit enter, it reloads, I can check my gallery. There is my thumbnail image. Um, so that's all set up to go. The only other thing you might want to consider, and this is optional, is for your main gallery having it set up to show the albums first and you can do that by going to site info start with and set this to albums that's it once you've done that all you need to do is export the gallery now I've taken the liberty of exporting two galleries already and here they are I've got this one of Yojo's concert and here I've got another gallery of a band called Kasker now, notice that the layout of these two galleries is not the same. And that's okay, because the layout is determined by the preferences. And we're not going to mess with preferences. All we want is the image data from each gallery's XML file. But I do need to know which one I'm going to move things into. And I'm going to use this layout that I've used for Yojo as my main gallery layout. Again, if you look closely, there's one album in this gallery. That's going to change. What I need to do now is go into a text editor and move my files together. Uh, you can see here on the left I have um, a file browser. This is my text editing area. I'm using Coda uh, for Mac OS X for this, but any text editor will work along with any sort of uh, file browser. You can use Mac OS X Finder, Windows Explorer, whatever. Um, the first thing you want to do is open the Mono Slideshow XML file for the main gallery that you're going to be moving everything into. And what you can see here is your preferences, which we're not going to change. But beneath that, you have an album tag, followed by all the images in that album. And then you can see that the album gets closed here. Um, now for this one, 
we're going to not make too many changes. But what we do want to do, because we're going to be merging these together, you can see that uh, the images folder for Yojo is the same as the images folder for Casker. So we're go going to want to rename those uh, to keep our gallery images separate. So I'm going to name this one Ye Images Yojo. I'm going to rename my thumbnails Thumbs. Yojo. Up here, I'm going to rename this Images Casker. And I'm going to rename this Thumbs Casker. Now, I need to come over here. These are the files for Yojo, and I need to set my image path to match my new directory name. So this needs to become Images Yojo. And here, my thumbnails needs to become Thumbs Yojo and I can save those changes. Now I'm going to open Mono Slideshow XML for the Casker Gallery. And you can see in my browser now I've got uh, two separate tabs. So this is the Casker Gallery and again I need to change my image paths. This is going to become Images Casker. This is going to become Thumbs Casker. And now I'm just going to copy Album all the way down to the closing tag for the album copy, move back to Yojo, and I'm going to come down here and paste this in. Well, you can see what I've done here is I've, I've put the image info from the Casker gallery into my Yojo gallery. And I can go ahead and close the Casker XML file now. I don't need it anymore. Um, and I've got these together. Great. I'm going to save that change. And then, in my file browser, I just need to move my image folders into the same directory as my Yojo folders. So you can see what I have now under Yojo is I've got all of my images, all of my thumbnails, and then I've got this XML file that has the album data for both inside. With that done, everything saved, I can flop back over to my browser, reload that, and you can see that I have two albums. But I forgot to do something. I forgot to change the thumbnail path. That's why there's no image there. So again, I just set this one to thumbs, casker. I come up here, I set this one to thumbs, yojo, save my changes. Reload again. There are my albums. I can visit Yojo. I can come back up here. I can visit Casker. And you can see that Casker's gallery now looks just like Yojo's gallery because it's running from the same set of preferences. You can do this for as many galleries as you want. You know, I, I showed two, but you can do three, four, ten, twenty. As many as it takes to get your gallery looking the way you want it to, to have everything included. And it's as simple as that, just copying and pasting things in, making sure your image files are renamed properly and that your file paths in the XML file match. Thanks for listening, good luck, and remember rule number five. Goodbye.